Why, hello everybody. Hello. So this is a wonderful week, isn't it, Mom? It really, truly is. So many exciting things happen this week. Absolutely. It's my mom's birthday this week. It is Mother's Day, and to celebrate, we are going to the club. That is right, and by that we mean Club 33. Are you excited, Mom, to come back? I am so excited. Here we are. Mm -hmm. What a privilege. Yeah, we could not be more excited, and we are super grateful for the opportunity to go back to Club 33 today. What are you most excited about, Mom? It's a privilege. It is. Um, what am I excited about? Just mm. walking in. Walking in. Walking in. <laughs> Being able to cross that line and say, today, today I belong. Today I am walking into the club. <laughs> I'm excited to do some shopping, actually. Maybe get a cheeky drink or two. And while we can't film inside of the club, we are definitely going to get plenty of photos for you guys. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to maybe impart some tips for you guys on how to have the best Club 33 experience that you can, right? Absolutely. First thing, just be there early. Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll repeat it later in the video, but for now, tip one, definitely be there early, right mom? Absolutely. So you can go in and take some beautiful pictures in the courtyard before you dine. As you can see, being on time will definitely make your experience better. And also, tip number two is to dress up and look pretty. Speaking of dressing up for the club, what are you wearing today, Mom? I am wearing Bernie Dexter and uh, the famous Cherries dress. Why don't you do a little spin or something? Very cute. And there's a lot of fun places to take photos in the club, FYI, so you'll definitely want to dress up so that you can remember this magical experience, right? Absolutely. Plus, it is a requirement. Yeah, they do have a dress code for the club. Nothing too crazy, no. but I find that most people like to dress up anyway just to be fun and make it a nice night, right? Correct. Lindsay, show us what you're wearing. So I got this at Unique Vintage, and I really liked it because of the blue color. There's a lot of blue aesthetic in the club, so I always try something that will like match a little bit with the blue, you know? with the pattern and I found these ears to match it as well. It's always good to bring a nice pair of ears and maybe a cute pair of shoes. I wouldn't recommend heels, although a lot of people do wear heels to the club, but for me, I just like to wear comfy shoes that I can maybe wear all day in the park. Another thing to remember about Club 33, like I was saying previously, is there is no filming inside the club, just so everybody knows. No filming at all, no boomerangs, nothing like that. But they do allow you to take plenty of photos, so keep that in mind. Maybe bring a battery charger with you because you'll definitely want to take a lot of photos. The only place you're not allowed to take a photo is inside of the restrooms. But other than that, take away and have fun. Well, we are wearing our Sunday best. And we are definitely hungry and ready for a cheeky drink. So I think it is almost time to head over to the club. What do you think, Mom? Let's go. Follow us along, why don't you, to Disneyland's Club 33. Now, FYI, while we wait for the club, we showed all this in a previous video, but since it's daytime now and it was nighttime when we showed it previously, here's a look at where the club is located, just so everybody knows. It is in New Orleans Square, as a lot of you know. It is. <laughs> and if you look just at the top level up there, the club is located right up there. You actually have to take an elevator to get up there or take the stairs. Or if you're my mom and I, do both, it's fun. <laughs> and it's right over here. And we'll show you guys what it looks like up in the front too. Also on the other side of this lovely wall right here is the infamous courtyard of the club. You can't see it right here, obviously, but uh, we'll show you guys pictures of it. It's really pretty, and I would say it's the most famous place to get a nice Club 33 photo. I agree. Or it's definitely at the top of the list. We'll show you a couple more as well. Exactly, and it'll be daylight for us. Yeah, we'll take some photos in the day. Yeah, if you're wanting to take photos during the daytime, I would definitely make an earlier reservation. Although it's kind of fun to be here at night as well. Oh my goodness, is that a treasure map? It smirks the splash. <gasps> I do like sparkling. She does. I think she does, yeah. Out. Just a wee bit. Look at all that gold. A true pirate lasts herself. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to go into Club 33. We hear there's a lot of gold there, I, I possibly. Hear there's gold even hidden in the walls. Oh, there is? Carved wood and everything. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Have so much fun. And if you bring in a oh, we'll split it with you, the profits. Okay. I'll bring it to the auction. I'm a very okay. fair pirate. Oh, okay, right. yes, that's a deal. Mm -hmm. yes. Definitely. We, we all have to work together, right? We have to. Yes. <laughs> and it's my birthday. Yeah, it's my mom's birthday. <laughs> Day. It is okay, very. Do you want to spin, Mum? You go the other way. That way you find your landing. Oh. Your <laughs> in case anyone didn't know, I'm sure a lot of you do. This is the old entrance to Club Ooh. 33, and it is called Club 33 because it's on 33 Royal Street, right? Mom? Correct. And there's the Royal Street sign. It is right over there. Not the real Royal Street in New Orleans, but the one at Disney, no. right? <laughs> the Disney one. Yeah, this is so pretty. Now, I'm not sure it moved locations. It's not number 33 anymore, so. We're gonna check that out. I'm curious. Yeah, but they can't change Club 33, the name. Oh I mean, no, the name is iconic. the same. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just address? Is Maybe. it the same? It's a little Disney magic and there's two 33s on the street. They can yes. do that, right? They can do <laughs> anything they want. And here's a look at where Club 33 is from the front. Look at that. That's a balcony area, as you can see. And right inside is the club. And look at this architecture. I can't get over this. If you've ever been to New Orleans, this may look familiar. I almost feel like I'm in New Orleans right now. Look at that architecture. Really cool and a magnificent view at night, especially if you want to view Fantasmic if you're there at the right time, right, Mom? Correct. And um, if it's just at the right time, everybody is welcome to go on the balcony and watch it. It is true, yeah. Well, it was fun to meet Red, right? Oh my gosh, she had me rolling on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, we were chatting with her for quite a while. So long, actually, that it is time for our reservation now, isn't it, Mom? I just can hardly wait. And I'm hungry. We're pretty hungry. We are ready for cheeky drinks. Shall we go to the club? Shall we? <laughs> Follow us along to Disneyland's most exclusive club. Here are a few tips and rules to make your Club 33 night the most magical experience possible. First of all, remember that there is no filming at all allowed inside of the club. This includes on the balcony and also includes boomerangs and live photos. You can take as many photos as you want inside of the club as long as you are being respectful and not taking photos of any other guests in the club other than your own party. The only area you are not allowed to take photos is inside of the restrooms. Remember that there is a dress code when attending the club, which is business casual. My mom and I always like to dress up when we attend Club 33, which we highly recommend. No flip-flops, tank tops, bare midriffs, sweats, or shorts are allowed inside of the club. Jeans are okay as long as they don't have any tears. Guests must conduct themselves properly at all times while at Club 33. To get a reservation for Club 33, you either have to be a Club 33 member or know a Club 33 member who can make a reservation for you. The club member does not have to be with you to dine in the dining room, but they do need to be present with you in order to visit the club lounge. The food at Club 33 is a fixed price that includes four courses. This does not include drinks or alcoholic beverages. The menu is seasonal and changes every so often. Everything my mom and I have ever tried at Club 33 has been super delish. We particularly like their filet mignon with perhaps a side of Bernays sauce. Be sure to let your server know about any dietary restrictions. As for the drinks, my favorite is the Clover Club. The Club 33 coffee is also a popular favorite. On that note, Club 33 is the only area in Disneyland other than Oga's Cantina that serves alcohol. So if you drink alcoholic beverages, be sure to check out the menu. Club 33 has an excellent wine list and a full cocktail menu. There are many hidden Easter eggs and beautiful things and artwork to see around the club, 
so be sure to look around. Most notable is Alfred, a vulture who sits on top of a grandfather clock and talks periodically. Be sure to take plenty of photos so that you always remember your Club 33 experience. Here are a few popular photo spots. The stairway in the Court of Angels. A foot photo with the Club 33 mosaic on the floor of the Club 33 entrance. Or perhaps one at the doors. A few photos at your table is a must. And one on the balcony of the club is always a good idea. Another popular photo is one of you holding shopping bags after buying Club 33 merch at the end of your experience. We'll get to the shopping part in a bit. Being on time for your Club 33 experience is extremely important. And keep in mind that depending on how busy they are, they might let you in 15 minutes early so that you can get a head start taking photos in the Court of Angels before your reservation. When dining at the club, be sure to let your server know if you are celebrating a birthday. They will make your night extra magical with perhaps a birthday card from the club and a special treat at the end. Also, remember that Club 33 has a great view of Fantasmic from the balcony, so be sure to check out the show if you are at the club around 9 or 10.30 p.m. While Fantasmic is not currently running, Disneyland does have another show running in its place this summer on Tom Sawyer's Island. This brings us to my mom and I's favorite part, which is shopping! Club 33 has lots of exclusive merch available for purchase after your dining experience, including mouse ears, lounge fly purses, coffee mugs, clothing, and even jewelry. We definitely recommend that you take advantage of this and plan accordingly. Last but not least, be sure to take your time and enjoy your experience. Club 33 is a very special place with tons of Disney history. Be sure to make the most of your magical time, and if you're there, say hi to Alfred for me. Well, as you can see, my mom and I are back at our hotel, which is actually the Grand Californian Hotel, after a lovely, just divine dinner at Club 33, <sighs> right? It was amazing. Truly wonderful, truly magical. We're so grateful for the experience. Now we're a little tired, happy to be at the hotel. <laughs> the only reason we're tired, though, is because we shopped till we dropped. So we're not going to drop just yet, though. We're going to talk about our experience a little bit, and we're going to show you guys what merch we bought. Time to spill the tea, Mom. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you think Dad's listening? I don't know, but we have some explaining to do here. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, just FYI, one tip about Club 33, it's a great place to shop for uh, birthday presents or Christmas presents for people. Because look at these bags. They're so beautiful. So you get a present for someone and you can't go wrong with anything at Club 33 and they give you this lovely tissue and this bag and you hand it to someone and like it's the best gift ever, really. Well, you, you can just give them the bag and the tissue and yes. that's it. That's it and they, they got you covered. <laughs> or if you just want to give a present to yourself for... I don't know, being wonderful, right? Absolutely, which is what we did today. Um, it would appear, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not only that, but the lounge fly purses and the ears and the spirit jerseys, I wouldn't say they run any more expensive at the club than they do in the parks, wouldn't you say, Mom? I'm going to say the same thing. You can actually find reasonably priced gifts. Yeah, so. I thought it would be double the price at Club 33. And while Disney does not run cheap, I wouldn't say it's more expensive at the club to buy things than it is maybe at the at Disney Emporium mm -hmm. or somewhere in the park. Exactly. And we're here to show you. 
We are gonna spill the tea right now and show you guys what we bought. So why don't you, and my mom and I bought a lot of the same thing, <laughs> FYI, but just go ahead and open the first package, mom. Package number one. Oh, Lindsay <laughs> bought this for me for my birthday. So I did. that was spill the tea, mom. What pretty. is it? Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Oh my <sighs> gosh. They have these new spirit jerseys. That's wonderful. And you got a size extra small, mom? I did. Yeah, they have it in extra small or um, small or large or medium, but these are so comfy. I think it's a different material than the spirit jerseys Club 33 has had in the past too. These are really comfy. We tried them on. Uh, we're super happy with this purchase, right? I am so happy. I've been wanting one, so. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, I bought a blue one um, back in December and I wear it all the time. I wear it to work sometimes. It's just kind of comfy in the morning. You I know? was so jealous. And it makes me happy to wear it just because I think of my magical time at Club 33. Okay, mom, is there anything else in that there bag? There is. And shh, dad bought it for me for my birthday. Oh. Only he doesn't know it yet. He doesn't. What is, oh, I know what this is. And again, this wasn't bad priced. Not at all. And I mean, you know, not cheap, but not bad. It's a lounge fly oh, wallet, yeah. but it matches a backpack that I got. Yeah, they sold these during the Emerald anniversary at Club 33. And it's this beautiful emerald, oh nice, this wallet here. And there's also a backpack that matches it. We got it back in December. There were ears too, we, they were sold out of those unfortunately. We missed. we missed those, but we, now we have this lovely wallet. No. I got the same wallet, so now we're, we're twinsies, right? <laughs> we are now. Okay, Lindsay, spill the tea. Okay. I already did. Well, first of all, I gotta be honest, I bought that spirit jersey and the wallet just like my mom. So I did a little more damage than my mom because I got a few more things. <laughs> first of all, I got this lovely tumbler here. That is beautiful. I know, this I wasn't going to buy and I threw in at the last moment just because it's, I don't know, it's so pretty and it's kind of shimmery and sparkly. Uh, when my mom and I went to Club 33 about a year ago, I bought some glasses and I use them all the time. Because when I use it, I don't know, it just makes me think of my magical, memorable experience at Club 33 and it just makes me happy. Um, I have a coffee mug from Club 33 and also just kind of like a cocktail glass. So I was like, you know what, I'll get a lot of use out of this, I'm just going to throw it in. It wasn't like too expensive. So, yep. Really cute. <laughs> sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> they also had some um, coffee mugs, a little tea set, I think, a couple of other things. Sometimes they have some wine glasses too. So yeah, they have some cute stuff. They'll hook you up. Definitely when you go there, check out the merch. Like, I would say that's one of our biggest tips is, you know, treat yourself when you go because you can only shop at the club when you're dining at the club. You won't have that opportunity again. So if you see something cute, you know, you might as well just buy it, right? Seize the moment. What do you think, mom? Well, I have to say there was a time that you got a backpack and I really wished I had gotten it. Right. And you can't, your experience is over. Yes. You cannot go back to That get is it. what they say. Once your dining experience is done, the experience is done, you can't go back and like shop the next day. Correct. So keep that in mind. If you see something, <laughs> it's a good excuse to just kind of like, you know, splurge a little bit. Not too much, but maybe just a smidge. So just be prepared for that before your Club 33 dining experience. Okay, another thing I bought was this hat and it matches the spirit jersey, check it out. It's so cute, plus it says Club 33 on the side in gold. Oh, that is cool. Mm -hmm. I love baseball hats. This is so cute and comfy, and look at that logo. I really love this, this is a good find. 
Over the past few months or so, I've seen a couple of people wearing these in the parks and I was kind of jealous because it's so cute. And now I have one. So excited. Definitely recommend this. Okay, I'm gonna try this on really quick, just for fun. There we go. How does it look? <laughs> it is so cute on you. I love you. it. Oh. I don't think you could ever put a hat on that isn't fabulous. Oh no, I think I could. <laughs> this one I love though. I mean, it's nice to wear mouse ears in the parks, but sometimes you just wanna throw on a baseball cap, right? Something comfy. <laughs> so this is perfect, I love it. Okay, next up. Now they didn't have any ears that were like this style, the headband ears, the Minnie Mouse ones, but what they did have is these. They have the classic style, the Club 33, check it out. Oh my gosh, that is yeah. so retro. I, I love that. I do too. Let me open this up and the gold Club 33 words on the back and the logo. <gasps> I'm really happy they had these. They were actually out of stock for a few days or maybe for a week, I'm not sure, but they just came back in stock today. So I'm very happy about that. They even have this little band right here, or I think you could just throw it on your head. I'm just gonna try these on. Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. I love cute. it. All right, I'm jealous. <laughs> these are really cute. They're really comfy too. I wanna say just a little more comfy than the Minnie Mouse ears. It just fits right on your head. I really love these. Okay, and another confession, we may have taken a napkin from the bathroom that has the Club 33 logo on it. Maybe two napkins. Who wouldn't take this? I mean, look at it. Oh my gosh. I mean, we're not saying to take a bunch of napkins from the bathroom. You could probably take one. I'm sure they'd be okay with that, but we'll just show you guys a look at it. There it is, it's really pretty. One more thing, I also took one mouthwash from the bathroom. I took it, I didn't get the chance to use it when I was there. I figured I'd use it back in the room. <laughs> but look at this, it's so bougie, don't you think, Mom? I know, right? Oh my gosh. Really cool. Um, like I said, you can't take photos in the bathroom, but it's, um, no. how would you describe it though? It's oh really cool. Gosh. It is luxurious, uh -huh. beautiful decor, beautiful uh -huh. lights. There is a, what they call a fainting couch back in there is, the, yes. many years ago, and it's beautiful. Oh Very my gosh. beautiful. Fabrics, mirrors. Yeah, we could not show you guys photos of the restroom, but one of the reasons they don't like people to film at the club is because it's an experience. It is. So whenever you guys get the chance to go to the club for the first time, you can experience it for yourself. But anyway, we had a fabulous day. We shopped till we dropped, right? We did. <laughs> we had some fabulous food. We had some very cheeky drinks. It was a wonderful day. Was it a great birthday, Mom? It was great service, too. Let's not yes. forget. Great service, magical experience. But we cannot eat another bite now. We cannot have another cheeky drink. We cannot spend any more money. <laughs> Yes, we literally shopped till we dropped. So I think for now, it is the end of our video. But as we've said, only for now, because we have tons of content coming out really soon at Disney, at Knott's, at Universal, maybe even at Club 33. Who knows where you will see us next? So if you liked our video, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps our channel out a lot, right, Mom? It does, thank you so much. Plus, it'll keep you guys updated on our crazy adventures. <laughs> so, Mom, we've been fortunate to go to Club 33 in the past, and we were lucky enough to go today on your birthday. Would you say this was the best Club 33 experience yet? Best day ever, <laughs> honestly, honestly. So good to hear that. What made today so special, was it me? <laughs> Just kidding. Of course, it's always you. You know, I think, um, again, service. Um, yeah. It was so elegant there. Mm -hmm. Something that we're not really used to. So. <laughs> not all the time, no. Not all the time. So, yeah, we just want to thank everybody yes. for making it so wonderful. Absolutely.
Yeah, what I love about Club 33 is the history there. That Walt wanted, he had this vision for this place for exclusive yeah. club members. And it's so great, and that vision came to pass. And it's a great place to spend with your friends or your family. And it's a great environment. The servers are wonderful. So be sure to look out for all the hidden Easter eggs in the club. And if you see Alfred, be sure to say hello for us. Okay, friends, stay safe out there. Stay awesome. And perhaps sometime we will see you at the club. Have a great day, everybody. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.